my early memories of Harrison when we were all students was that he was an incredibly positive and fun-loving fellow student. Charismatic, uh, compelling, even as a fellow student he was a, he was a great teacher. He had been a teacher and a practitioner and a researcher and administrator and he brought all of those skills to the position to be dean at Cal. It astonished me. We were walking down the halls and Harrison knew the name of every student he encountered. And they would say, hello Dean Fraker, how are you today? And he would answer them by name. And I finally turned to him after maybe a dozen students had walked by and I said, do you know everyone here? He said, well, I do my best. Harrison affirmed for me the idea that by engaging with some degree of sympathy and empathy, a student and colleague in a discussion was a way to open up the pores and the flow of insights so that a student could more meaningfully engage uh, an understanding that they lacked when they did the work and therefore more readily change, adjust, and grow. This notion that design has a purpose which is more than itself is something which, which fits very much with the way Harrison has approached his teaching. Here's a person who focuses on quality of life, on sustainability, on energy, and on supporting education as well as practice. He was determined to bring together the best, most interesting people of that time to work on this. He has a, a gift for that outgoing, personable presence that helps him to build relationships, and that's part of the key to his success. His work at Princeton is been long regarded and now perceived to be way early in the environmental movement. He was one of the first practicing architects and researchers to explore the implications of sustainability. It was before it became a term really to be used by everyone. He really has been one of the premier green architects of our time. I can point to a generation of my colleagues who are where we are, are involved in energy and environmental topics and architecture because of Harrison. Energy and resource efficiency is an area that architects should be leaders in. This is a survival issue. This is no less important than the future of not just this profession, but our society. And to know that somebody like Harrison is leading this type of research and making the results available to the entire educational community is impressive and necessary. We encountered him at a UN conference in Stockholm um, earlier this year and um, it was really quite encouraging to see that he's sharing his beliefs and his talents and his wonderful teaching capacity with the whole world.